Many people will not be heading into work or school today in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but it is so much more than a day off. Mary Joola is at the Wisconsin Institute for Discovery with more on how some students will be keeping busy. Hi, good morning, Charlotte. And nearly 400 students are gonna be gathering here in just a couple hours to really start a day of service on this Monday and with me here this morning is Cabal Vang. She is the Assistant Outreach Coordinator for the Mordridge Institute of Research and one of the organizers for the Youth Day of Service. So Cabal, thank you for being with us. Yeah, no problem. So what do you guys have going on today? Um, so today is MLK Day of Service and we have over 350 middle and high school students who will be participating in the event to learn more about Martin Luther King, about STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art and math, and then to do service in the afternoon. Now, this event has been going on for a couple years in the mm -hmm. Madison area. How is this year going to be different than previous years? Yeah, so this year we're really focusing on not just doing service for one day, but to plant the seed for doing service for a lifetime. So a lot of our projects are teaching kids how to do service now and give them the tools and resources to do service in the future. In addition to that, we have a lot of projects that are off-site working with St. Vincent DePaul Food Pantry, Second Harvest, and more. And doing more of those projects offsite are, are big thing that's is a big thing that's different this yep, year. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. And you had mentioned so one of the things that they're going to be learning about is how uh, careers, pro advancements in the STEAM fields, yeah. science, mm -hmm. technology, engineering, art, art and, and math. 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 Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell us about um, the different things that they're going to be learning. How that really yeah. how those fields connect to Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. So um, we really feel like STEAM connects to service very easily because a lot of the part of um, a lot of steam is about making the world a better place for everyone and so for example we have a project learning about the emerald ash borer beetle and that's an invasive species so learning about how that um, they are really detrimental to ash trees and, and that's give, something we see in Wisconsin. Yes, definitely, in Wisconsin, giving the kids the resources to learn more about that and go out into the neighborhood and informing their neighbors. Um, we also have projects relating to um, art, making arts and crafts and Valentine's Day card for veterans. So a lot going on here. Yes, a lot of different things. All right, Olkabal, thank you so much for being with us. Good luck. It's going to be a busy day for you yes, guys. Yes, it will. It will be fun. Good. All right, so Charlotte, everyone, that nearly 400 students are be get, getting together here at the Wisconsin Institute for Discovery. They're starting at 7.30, and it's going to be a full day for them. They're starting at 7.30, and they're continuing right through the afternoon on this Martin Luther King Jr. Day. All right, Mary Jo, thank you very much. On this Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Dane County students will come together for a day of service. Mary Jo Ola is at the Wisconsin Institute for Discovery with the details. Hi, good morning, Charlotte, and there's more than 300 students, close to 400 that are going to be joining together here this morning. And with me is Cabal Vang. She is the Assistant Outreach Coordinator for the Morgridge Institute for Research. Cabal, Hello. thanks again for being with us. Yeah, no problem. So you have a full day on top yes, of these students. Yes, we do, we do. We have, like you mentioned, almost 400 middle and high school stu uh, students who will be here participating in all sorts of activities. What types of activities do you have going on? I know they're coming in at 7.30, but they're not going to be done until late afternoon. Yep, actually we have volunteers coming in at 7.30, but the event starts at 8.30, and the day is really split into two parts. In the morning, it's all about doing STEAM activities, so these are science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And then in the afternoon, the students will be doing service projects um, here at the Discovery Building and all over Madison. And tell us a little bit about how those STEAM uh, projects, so STEAM workshops really mm -hmm. connect to Dr. King's message. Yeah, so we really feel like STEAM easily connects to service because a lot of STEAM is all about making the world a better place for everybody. And so, for example, in the morning we have some um, folks from the School of Medicine and Public Health, School of Pharmacy coming to do workshops. We also have um, some student groups from all over our campus to do things relating to emerald ash borer and talking about how they're an invasive species and really detrimental to ash trees. And then from what I understand too, part of this is not to um, teach about the service, community service projects, but also to help students who maybe might be underrepresented in those fields as well. Talk about that. Yeah, so um, a lot of our students will be from low-income, um, underrepresented um, um, 
backgrounds, backgrounds and, okay. and um, STEAM careers. And so we try to recruit presenters who are um, the same uh, in the same community. We have a lot of undergraduate mentors who are part of underrepresented uh, groups. And so it's really all about a day of exposing them to different careers that they might not have been exposed to already. And who puts all this together? So this is really a collaboration between um, the Discovery Building, so that's the Wisconsin uh, Wharf, um, Wisconsin Alumni Research Foundation, Mortgage Institute for Research, the Martin Luther King Coalition, Urban League, and many folks from all over the campus and the city. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a very, very busy day here for you Yeah, folks. definitely, definitely. All right, Kabbalah, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. All right, so like Bao had said, volunteers will show up at 7.30 to get the day started, but Charlotte, it's going to be a jam-packed day for these nearly 400 students. Their day starts at 8.30, and they're not going to be done till close to 3 o'clock mm. on this Martin Luther King Jr. Day. All right, a busy and exciting day ahead for those students. Thank you very much, Mary Jo.